The thing that was very interesting to me was all the resources at Oak Ridge. When I came here, it was just amazing what was at my fingertips. And that really motivated me to want to stay. All the resources, very smart people you had to work with, all the expertise from high performance computing to neutron sciences to material sciences. So what's changed now is I get more excited about setting up situations for people to succeed. So I'll work very close with young staff, sometimes they're postdocs, and you're you're setting up, maybe it's a, a proposal or maybe it's some potential funding source with DOE, but you're trying to get new ideas out there or help them get their ideas out there. So we do engine work, and I think some people think, oh, it's kind of mundane. Why does Oak Ridge National Laboratory do that? Because we can make great breakthroughs by working problems on Titan. We work things at the high flux isotope reactor. You know, we're imaging transportation technologies, finding out things people never had seen before. At times, a push where people are They'll push you to not think about incremental, but think of disruptive. Disruptive so seems to be a buzzword people like to use. And, and I'll argue that there's a lot of times that all these incremental technologies pile up and then there's a disruptive opportunity. In fact, a lot of the work going on in, in the engine research at the moment, I consider it very disruptive compared to a decade ago. And it's because all the incremental developments that have happened over the last 10 years have all come together. And now we can do things with engines we couldn't even imagine 20 years ago. I think you start seeing new challenges, bigger challenges, start working with others, and possibilities become endless. The thing I always say, we can see the unseeable, solve the unsolvable, and build the unbuildable. And you put all that together, and that's a, that's a great story. You can do anything.